This is an Eyewitness News webcast. Hi, I'm Chris Langlois, and this is your Eyewitness News webcast for this Wednesday, April 10th. We'll start with your forecast from meteorologist Stefano Di Pietro. How is this Wednesday looking? Well, Chris, it is going to be the coldest day so far this week. And even that being said, it's just going to be a little on the cool side with temperatures that'll be in the upper 40s and lower 50s for today. Obviously much cooler than the last couple of days and slightly below average for this time of year. But we are going to have a good amount of sunshine to go around pretty much all day. 52 for the high in the eyewitness weather forecast. Breezy and cooler, partly to mostly sunny through today. And we're going to have that wind at around 10 to 15 miles per hour. So a little bit breezy. But if the lowest temperature of the week is 52, it's really not all that bad, at least the high temperature. Right near the freezing mark tonight at 32, 54 by tomorrow. We'll have some cloud cover coming back. Rain is back Friday at 66 and then clouds and sun by Saturday, Chris. All right, thanks, Stephanel. Progress is being made this morning after a train derailed Tuesday afternoon in Dixon City, Lackawanna County. Here's video of that derailment. Two people were on board the train bound for Carbondale from Scranton, but no one was injured. As of four this morning, crews on the scene removed all of the debris from the tracks, but now repairs still need to be done to make the line passable again. The derailed train was hauling sand and lumber, the National Transportation Safety Board will investigate that wreck. For the first time in 55 years, hunters in Pennsylvania will have a chance to head into the woods early for deer rifle season. The Game Commission voted 5-3 to three yesterday to move up the start of the season by two days from the Monday after Thanksgiving to Saturday. Moving the opening day creates a 13-day season that includes three Saturdays. Officials say that change could encourage more young hunters to participate. Those are today's top headlines. Thanks for joining us and have a great Wednesday.